the process. Don't know the process. In other words, in other words, the steps that are needed. In other words, okay. what what should I be doing on the first contact? What should I be doing on the second contact? What should I be doing on the third contact in order to move them along in that in that decision process? Good. Thank you, Mark. So there are all kinds of reasons, and actually, most people do not have a defined process. <coughs> I have uh, met many people online since I've been there in 2005, and I have many actual good connections, people that I collaborate with, we cross-promote each other, and one of them, in case any of you like cold calling, who has become a friend of mine, and she lives in New York City, is Wendy White. She's called the 
been in sales for 40 years. I got 10 years on. And I've sat, I've sat in seminars, uh, countless seminars, Fortune 500 companies that I've worked for before. And I've heard people say this over and over again. The most, the single most important thing you can do with a client is listen to them. Oh, yeah. And I think that's wrong. Okay. The single most important thing was what the, the, was just brought up right back here. It's knowing the right questions to ask. Because if you're not asking the right questions in the right manner, you're not listening to the right answers. You have to know what to ask. Yeah, I think the questions are important, but it has to come from the core belief that the reason you're asking the questions is genuinely to know more about that person, not to start a sales pitch. No. So many of the questions... To start a sales pitch, yeah. If you're right. here to start but a sales pitch, and if you do that, you've made a horrible mistake. Right, and so that's 